Uriah Hall stopped Anderson Silva via a TKO in the fourth round of their UFC Fight Night 181 main event in what was billed by the promotion as Silva's last fight in the UFC. While Silva showed flashes of his past brilliance, Hall kept his composure and dropped the icon in the third and then again in the fourth before finishing him on the ground. But have we really seen the last of the spider? I don't know, mused the legend. It's tough to say it's my last or not. This is what I do for my entire life and with my entire heart. Let's go see. According to UFC president Dana White, this was his last fight and with good reason. The former champ has gone one and seven with one no contest in his last nine fights. But there are other promotions out there. So don't be surprised if Silva doesn't hobble off into the sunset quite yet. In other results from Fight Night 181, Kevin Holland, Alexander Hernandez, Adrian Yanez, and Miles Johns all earned 50K performance bonuses with four of the event's seven KO or TKO's finishes. At Bellator 250, the former middleweight champ Gegard Mousasi reclaimed the vacant title with a unanimous decision victory over the current welterweight champion Douglas Lima. And to the one championship where two title straps were defended and two were lost at Inside the Matrix. But the biggest result of the night came in the main event where Renier de Ritter choked out the middleweight champ Ong La An Sung in the very first round. De Ritter took the double champs back with over a minute remaining in the opening stanza. With a full body lock in place and his arm tight around In Sung's chin, Ritter outconstricted the Burmese Python. And it was just a matter of time before the Dutch Knight took the crown. In the co main event, the lightweight champion Christian Lee promised a quick finish and provided exactly that with a first round TKO of Yuri Lapikis. The young warriors scrambled hard for position until Lee got the advantage and rained down the pain. It was Lee's second defense in the promotion's most hotly contested division. Ang La Unsung's stablemate Martin Wen also lost his featherweight title after being knocked out by Tan Lee in the third round. It took just one short counter right to swing all the momentum in Lee's favor, and he didn't look back. The champ wasn't out, but he was rocked, and Tan Lee didn't give him a moment to breathe. No matter what the situation did, or how many times he could get back to his feet, the finish was coming, and he simply couldn't stop the new champ. And in the fourth title fight of the night, Sheng Jing Nan put on an impressive striking display to defend the women's strawweight title with a unanimous decision victory in her rematch against Tiffany Teo. While it wasn't the devastating mauling of their first encounter, Xiong was clearly still the more effective striker. Even after a strong finish from No Chill, the proof of the panda's dominance was all over Teo's face. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.